Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about uh, the transformer utilization factor calculation for the full wave rectifier. Okay. So here in this full wave rectifier, we will consider the average transformer utilization factor. Instead of directly we are calculating transformer utilization factor, here we are going to calculate average transformer utilization factor. Because if you consider the primary winding there 360 degrees there will be a current flow but if you consider in secondary winding it is the current flow will be taking place 180 degrees okay so that's why here we will calculate uh, primary winding transformer utilization factor and at the same time the secondary winding utilization factor and we will take the average value of them so that you can get the transformer utilization factor for the full wave rectifier okay so that is the point here then therefore here average tuf we will calculate uh, in the transformer utilization factor for the full wave rectifier so the average tuf for transformer utilization factor is equal to primary winding transformer utilization factor plus secondary winding transformer utilization factor by 2 okay average means your primary winding tuf plus secondary winding tuf by 2 here we will consider so we will calculate first the transformer uh, utilization factor that is primary winding transformer utilization factor okay so here in this primary winding uh, of the transformer so the current will flows with uh, 360 degrees okay current flow in 360 degrees that's why here directly we will calculate uh, the transformer utilization factor for the primary winding okay so what is the formula for the transformer utilization factor here is the DC power delivered to the AC power okay so it is the ratio of uh, DC power delivered to the AC power so here DC power delivered what is the DC power delivered so the power is equal to P is equal to IR general formula so we require what DC power so I am giving suffix here PDC sorry I square R here so that is IDC square in place of R we have the load resistor in the full wave rectifier so that is RL okay so this is the formula for the DC power delivered so that's why I am substituting here IDC square into RL so this PDC is equal to IDC square into RL okay so now what is AC means PAC is nothing but uh, VRMS into IRMS so the AC power is equal to VAC, VRMS into IRMS. So, here IDC is what? IDC is equal to 2IM by pi for the full wave rectifier. So, that's why I will substitute that one as 2IM by pi whole square into RL. But what is VRMS and IRMS? VRMS is, is, is equal to VM by root 2 and IRMS is equal to IM by root 2 in a full wave rectifier. Okay? So, therefore, that is VM by root 2 multiply with the IM by root 2. Okay, so what we'll get here, this is 2 IM by pi whole square that becomes 4 IM square by pi square into RL. So that's what here I have written, 4 IM square by pi square into RL. Okay, and in the denominator we have what, VM IM root 2 into root 2, that is VM IM by 2. But here, VM is equal to, uh, sorry, IM is equal to VM by RL plus RS plus RF. So, IM is equal to, so here we'll, we require what? Here we got uh, VM, IM by 2. But we know that uh, IM is equal to VM by RL plus RS plus RF. So, in this one we require Vm, so I will take Vm here is equal to Im into Rl plus Rs plus Rs. Okay, so substitute this value in this equation, so what we will get here, Im multiply with uh, Rl plus Rs plus Rf and multiply with Im by 2. So, if I substitute here in place of Vm, this value, so what you will get that is Im Rs plus Rl plus Rf 
and here I m by 2 is there as it is I am writing that one. Okay. So now what happened here? This I m and I m multiplication is there. So I m square is cancelled with this I m square. And this 2 goes to the numerator and it will become 8. 8 by pi square. So that's what 8 by pi square. And it is RL by RS plus RL plus RF. So RL by RL plus RF plus RS. Okay. So therefore, what is 8 by pi square? Its value is 0 0.812. And here we have RL by RL plus RF plus RS. Okay. Out of this, uh, if you consider RF plus RS is very less than the low resistance, therefore RL is very greater than here, RF plus RS. So we can neglect uh, neglect uh, RF plus RS. So if we neglect that one, RL and RL will cancel and the total value is here 0 0.812. This is the transformer utilization factor of primary winding. Okay, U of, of primary winding is 0 0.812. So this is the calculation of primary winding uh, transformer utilization factor. Now we will move on to move on to the important calculation that is nothing but the secondary winding transformer utilization factor. Okay, so here we will con consider the secondary winding transformer utilization factor because uh, as we are using the center tap transformer, so it will gives 180 degrees phase shift uh, positive half cycle and uh, at the same time negative half cycle for the D1 and D2 in the operation of a fluid rectifier. Okay, that is the center tap importance. So therefore, for each 180 degrees only the current will flows, but in the primary winding for 360 degrees uh, of waveform the current will flows. But here uh, for each 180 degrees that is flowing, that's why we will divide our the secondary winding uh, power AC power calculation as for one half, first half and second half. Okay, so that is the reason why we will consider here PC, PAC rated one half and PAC rated other half. Okay, for one off cycle and another off cycle. So what is the AC rating of the secondary winding? Okay, so if you consider previously there, we are not using an off-way rectifier. We are not using any center tap transformer. So we will consider for completely for 360 degrees. But here we have only uh, 180 degrees. For each 180 degrees, the current flow will go or flow. That's why here we will consider or we will divide this uh, secondary winding calculation, the AC winding calculation for first half cycle and second half cycle. Therefore, PAC rated one half plus PAC rated other half. Whatever it may be here, we will calculate uh, the VRMS multiply with IRMS is nothing but the AC power rated. Okay. So here AC rated means here we will consider VRMS multiply with IRMS. So what is VRMS value here? Vm by root 2. Okay. Vm by root 2. But what is IRMS? That is Im by 2. So here for the first half cycle we will calculate Vm by root 2 and Im by 2. Plus Vm by for the second half cycle we will again calculate Vm by root 2, Im by 2. So if you simplify this one, Vm and Im will common, we will take, uh, so we will get PAC rated that is uh, 2 Vm I M by 2 root 2. This is nothing but Vm and Vm denominator is also same, 2 root 2, that is 2 into Vm Im by 2 root. Okay? So, Okay, Vm Im by 2 root 2. So that is what uh, 2 Vm Im by 2 root 2. These 2 and 2 will be cancelled and so we will have Vm Im by root 2. So this is the AC rated secondary winding uh, value. Okay, PAC that is power rated for secondary winding. So now we have, we know that the DC power delivered and at the same time AC uh, rated AC. So therefore, TUF for secondary winding is nothing but uh, PDC by PAC rated. Okay, so PDC by PAC rated. So PDC already we have seen here that is IDC square into RL by VM IM by root 2. Okay, so here IDC is equal to 2IM by pi. Okay, so substitute that one. If you substitute here 2IM by pi, that is nothing but 2IM by pi whole square into RL 
by here also we got vm instead of vm uh, here we have im multiply with rl plus rs plus rf so if i substitute in place of vm here here vm is equal to im multiply with rl plus rs plus rf so if you substitute that one what you will get here you will get uh, 2im by pi whole square into rl multiply with im im okay im square and it is rl plus rf plus rs so this im and this one will cancel with the im square okay and if you simplify this one it is nothing but uh, 4im square im square will be cancelled here and 4 is as it is here this root 2 will goes to the numerator so it becomes 4 root 2 okay 4 root 2 and im square here we have and at the same time pi square I am square by pi square, I am square RL plus RS plus RF. Okay, so here this I am square will cancel with this. Okay, so now what happened here? It is 4 root 2 by pi square and RL by RL plus RS plus RF. Okay, so this is what uh, we have. If I neglect again uh, because RL is greater than RS plus RF, so you will neglect uh, that RS plus RF. So what you will get here? 4 root 2 by pi square and it is RL by RL so RL RL will cancel so what happened here so if I neglect that uh, it becomes 4 root 2 by pi square RL by RL so these two will be cancelled so what is that one next 4 root 2 by pi square so into RL here RL RL and RL will cancel so what you will get here it is 0 0.574 okay so this is the transformer utilization factor of this secondary winding that is nothing but 0 0.574 okay so what is the transformer utilization factor for full wave rectifier is nothing but we will consider average transformer utilization factor that is equal to primary winding transformer utilization factor plus secondary winding utilization factor divided by 2 so that's what we have to do here the transformer utilization factor is equal to that is primary winding transformer utilization factor and secondary winding transformer utilization factor by 2. So it is primary winding we got is 0 0.812 and for secondary winding we got is 0 0.574 and if you substitute here it is 0 0.81 plus 0 0.574 by 2. So what you are getting here the transformer utilization factor for the full wave rectifier is 0 0.693. Okay, so that is TUF for of full wave rectifier is is equal to 0 0.693 okay so this is the calculation of the full wave rectifier transformer utilization factor okay so here by conclusion first we have considered the primary winding transformer utilization factor calculation after that we have considered the secondary winding calculation and to calculate the transformer utilization factor of full wave rectifier we are taking the average of uh, uh, those two that is primary winding tuf uh, and secondary winding tuf so that you will get the complete or total transformer utilization factor for the full wave rectifier that is equal to 0 0.693 okay so this is about uh, the calculation of uh, transformer utilization factor for a full wave rectifier okay Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.